Hello? I think we're live. All right. Um, give me a second here, fellas. Had a near catastrophic injury. And I didn't think I was going to be able to stream tonight. And literally when I got home, I tried to like kind of rush to get the stream to start at 10 on the dot. And then for some reason, my OBS, which is like a streaming program, will not load. Um, positive note from all this is since the last time I've streamed, which has been I think it's two weeks now, two weeks plus, uh, tax time, tax season. I know I actually got a couple of you guys that are that work in the tax business. Um, as a self-employed person, I got kind of bent over a little bit this year. But I had money set away, set to the side for my taxes. And um, basically, it's not nearly as much. I basically, I saved, I don't want to get any, let's just put it this way. I saved $4,000 for my taxes because I thought I was going to get absolutely bent over. It was only $1,600. So as, you know, it's a business, I'm using the rest of that money to get, hopefully, a new computer system. Um, graphics cards, I guess, because I, I've been told to me by a computer genius because of like bit mine, Bitcoin and stuff like that. Graphics cards are super expensive right now. Uh, so I kind of got to find a work way around that. But hopefully I'll have a new computer setup, which means higher quality content for you guys. You know, you guys spend money to make money. Um, what we're going to do today, because it's been a little bit of uh, a little bit of a gap between this, I'm going to do some play the moment games as well as one full game. Uh, I, I roughly want to get to, you know, let's see what we got here. I want to get it so that next episode, which hopefully is next week, it's only going to be a week gap, will be the season finale of this year. Roughly. Um... You know what? I want to try to get to like week 13, week 14. We see, we'll see where we're at from there. Originally, I was going to stream some Fortnite because literally I played, I've probably less than an hour total time played in Fortnite. And I first played it like the first week Battle Royale came out and I hated it. But they patched it a bunch. I played one game last night. I had a blast. So I definitely want to stream some Fortnite because it's really popular right now. And I, I'm actually, I had fun. But today is just going to be Madden. I hope tomorrow night will be Fortnite. Hopefully I get my OBS back and running because it's a little bit better than the program I'm using right now. Um... But I will say this. I will be saying this. Um, people need to know why I said I, I said I had a a season a career a potential career ending injury as we'll load up this game against the two and six Lions. We're just gonna play the moments. Um, basically, I, it's you know Easter's upon us, and we got my kid, my son, a sandbox. And I was like, well, my girlfriend's like, yeah, that's fine. We'll just give him the sandbox, right? And then I was like, we well, gotta get him some some. Tronka trucks, you know, a bulldozer and a and a dump truck to play in the sandbox. She's like, oh, yeah, I guess so. Went to Toys R Us. Heard Toys R Us is having some trouble up there in America. It's still fine down here in Canada. Grabbed the box. Nearly sawed my finger off. One of the nastiest paper cuts, cardboard cuts, make it sound a little bit more big boy, that I've ever seen. It's like right on my trigger finger. Like right on right trigger. I was like, man, I'm not going to be able to stream tonight. Like this is, this is the equivalent of Tom Brady slashing his hand before the, you know, the AFC championship. It's maybe even more important because it's my live stream. And that's how much importance I put on this. So, really today I wasn't going to do it. But uh, I actually have the night to myself. A little bit bored. No one's on to play Fortnite. And I haven't streamed in a while. So I want to stream. So what we're going to do tonight is play a couple games. And we're going to finish it up with, if your patrons are watching or you watch this in playback, uh, skip to the end to see all of the stat recaps. We're going to do roughly like a mid to late end of season stat recap. For all of the Patreon supported players to get to, you know, get to see where you're going. Keep you do a little catch up for you guys on the league. Uh, free agency. That's yeah. That's pretty much what I assume this stream would turn into. So uh, I'm gonna be focusing on playing a little bit. Cause I actually crazy. I don't know if I'm not under the influence. I kind of feel I haven't played Madden in a while. I've been working on my mock draft and doing you know miscellaneous football stuff. Obviously, you've been seeing my reaction to free agency videos, so I haven't really been sitting down and playing Madden, so this is going to be a little interesting. Um, thoughts on free agency so far? Let's break it down. Give me, give me, some, give me some acquisitions. Jeremy, did Jeremy all Buffalo... I'm going to tell you right now, what we learned in the last time, I remember we played this, is Buffalo Jones, coming back from injury, is a man, look at that, two TDs last week. But Jeremy, I didn't see that. I've been out and about all day. Jeremy Hill signing for the Patriots. Uh, upside. Definitely has a lot of upside. You lost Deion Lewis. I don't really know. I guess he's your power back option right there. Six foot. Oh, it's G-Rag. G-Rag opened up with a TD, baby. We're five. We're on a two-game losing streak, by the way. Quick update. I don't lose a lot in my franchise mode, so I'm a little ticked off about that. Thoughts? Drake, Juju, Travis playing Fortnite with me. I don't, I never, I don't watch Twitch at all, but I heard of that, and I, I watched a little bit of, like, some clips people made from it. It looked fun. That's actually kind of what got me to think, like, maybe I should try Fortnite again. It's going to be super popular, and maybe 
if I, you know, start streaming on Twitch a little bit, help me grow. Because I need to, the, uh, I'll pull, actually pop in for this. You gotta get partnered on Twitch, basically, to, to start growing there in reality. It's not that hard to get partnered, you just need to be consistent. And I definitely have the, the, the drive to be consistent on Twitch, but I was like, what do I want to play? Because, like, like, a lot of my Madden, I like to keep it, oh, let's go Buckner. Oh, get rocked! A lot of my Madden like to keep it here on YouTube, but I'm gonna start Twitch streaming some Fortnite if my internet can hold up. And uh, saw that I was like, why not? Why not hop on the wave? Because I'm really late to the Fortnite party, and uh, I just I never could aim in that. Same thing with PUBG. I just I'm a COD player. I'm a pretty good. I would say it's obviously it's not a first person shooter game, but I'm like you know I'm competitive and I'm pretty good at Call of Duty. You know I'm a I'm a 2KD give or take rushing 2KD. One, between a 1.7 and a 2, which means, more often than not, I'm having some pretty big games. And the fact that I literally would spend 20 minutes seeing no one in Fortnite, and then when I found someone, my aim was horrendous, I got frustrated. But I played Fortnite after a bunch of patches. People are saying the aiming was different. Give it a try again. I did. First game, I got three kills. That was like more kills than I've ever got in a single PUBG game or anything like that. And I was just doing solo. And I know a lot of you guys out there do, do um, will, will join up and play squad, so... That's my kind of way that I probably can interact with you guys. Because before we used to play Madden Ultimate Team. But now guys like Nick the Plug, pour one out. I think John still plays it. John was another guy I stream with a lot. But ultimately, I mean, Ultimate Team's passed. So I think I'm playing some Fortnite. But that will be on Twitch. And there will be some Madden on Twitch eventually. Because I think... I just need to commit to streaming on Twitch for like a month straight so I can get partnered. And then once that's done, I can get a nice little balance between Twitch and here. Uh, thoughts on the Eagles? Okay, now, now you guys can start asking me some questions. I'll start looking at the chat because I got my little spiel. Thoughts on the Eagles releasing Vinnie Curry? It was pretty much expected. And, um, with the salary cap that we freed up, I'm telling you right now, everyone is wanting Honey Badger. I would love Honey Badger. He's one of my favorite players. But it's not happening. He's going to go to, he's going to go to a team that's not, he won't go to a team that's as competitive Philly, but he'll go to a team that can pay him as much. I mean, he would work in Philly. He can play nickel corner and he can play safety. So we don't have a proven nickel corner. We assume that, you know, Sidney Jones or something like that can play nickel, which, you know, he has the skill set to probably do that. But we don't know for sure. But we know Honey Badger graded out exceptionally for pro football focus for how much weight you want to put in that at nickel. So he would have an immediate role and eventually could probably take over for Malcolm Jenkins or something like that. He's still on the right side of 20, or right side of 30, but it's not going to happen. I think we're going to, you need to look at some maybe older veterans, um... I think Jerry Macklin, I mean, I don't really know, like, I don't think Jerry Macklin's going to offer a whole lot, but I think Jerry Macklin's the guy that probably they could look at bringing in uh, just in case you don't want to throw Mac Hollins right to the Wolves next season. Uh, you might want to look at an older tight end. I have no idea right now the tight end market. The tight end market, if I do recall, was not real pretty, but, you know, there's Martellus Bennett, which, I mean, I would rather bring back Brent Selleck than Martellus Bennett. They probably would have similar contracts. Um... But I would say they probably get a veteran receiver. And when you just look at it right now, Macklin's probably the top name that comes off. I saw that the Bears matched the Kyle Fuller sheet that the Packers tried to steal on away. I, that, that was pretty much always going to happen. Don Terry Poe to Carolina. That's a nice fit. But if I'm a Panther fan, didn't they draft Vernon Butler in the first round? Like, the fact that you have Vernon Butler and K1 short. Like, why is Butler a bu that big of a bust? That you need to, you know, use bigger... Your big splash of free agency is at a position that you, you think's kind of strong. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a little confused about that, but then again, I don't really follow it. Jordy Nelson to Oakland, or Jordy Nelson going to the Raiders. That's going to look so, that's probably the weirdest jersey like switch. Come on, let's get in your six foot ten tight end. Seeing Jordy Nelson wear the silver and black is probably going to be like the biggest, like, what? What timeline is this? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to bring race into it. Let's be honest. Raiders are like kind of like still regarded as like the ghetto team of the NFL, and you just see like one of the most like classic prototypical white football players playing there. That's like that's like seeing Tom Brady fucking playing for the Oakland Raiders. But it's I, mean, I like the Raiders, and I, I would I would rather at this point, to be honest with you, um, Jordy Nelson over Michael Crabtree. Where does Ebron go? I, I thought he was gonna go to Jacksonville, but the Jags have signed like four or five tight ends already. So. That's going to be an interesting spot. I think a team that needs to see... Because he brought some, had some ups and downs and probably hasn't lived up the expectations of, of a first-round tight end. Actually, I would be surprised a decent chunk of money. So we're going to see the tight end. 
they're trying to build something. Like the Jets probably be a team just off the top of my head. Um, I mean, if Dallas, if the Cowboys really want to pick pay for life beyond Jason Witten, Ebron could be a fit. Do you think the Browns are going... Let's go. The new story that came out that Hyde would be all right with Saquon Barkley. I think that they might go Saquon if he's still there at four. I think they might be tempted to do that. But I think that ship sailed. The biggest thing for me, when I'm trying, I haven't really done my mock draft yet because there's still being some trades being made. Um, but I just, I have no idea what the Giants are going to do. That was a terrible pass. Like, no idea. The audio. My audio is still working. I don't know. Just give me a second here. Let me. Audio should be fine. Um. Yeah, I don't know what the. Like, again, I gotta upgrade my setup. I've been saving money. I'm very good with money. Pat myself on the back. But I have, like, I have a blue snowball, which seven years ago when I bought it was like a top of the line mic. And I, I definitely need to upgrade my mic. My mic set up a little bit here. Boom, throw that away. Um, what was I going on about? Someone was asking me a question. Ask me a question. It was about the Browns. Yes, it was about the Browns. Uh, and the Giants. I don't, I'm working my mock draft. No idea what the Giants are going to do. No idea. Like, I think if you're the Giants, you have to go quarterback. But also, it's the Giants. They took, it's a different regime, but there's still this, oh, wide open McAvoy. This is still the same team that drafted Eli Apple, a clear second round corner, like top 10. So, you never know. Honestly, if I'm the Giants and I don't like a quarterback, I would go Quentin Nelson over Saquon Barkley, in all reality. Their offensive line is the shits. Go get the best, get, go get a guy that no matter what happens, is going to be a starter, potential pro bowler for the next 10 years. I love Saquon. Saquon Barkley just strictly going to run behind the left tackle all the time. So, I don't know. But I, because of that, I, I'm still like, but I'm waiting my time. I'm working to... Oh, whoa, what happened there? I think we're good. Audio's in and out. Ah! See, that's why I switched to OBS, and then OBS started fucking me over. You got no more audio. You guys aren't hearing this? Are you guys not hearing this? What the fuck? Going this. Where do you think the Giants? OBS has been fucking up for a lot of people. Does I see like my thing lagging right now? It makes no sense. I everything. It has to be like literally. I'm gonna be dead ass saying it's YouTube. Like my, I'm the first one. I've canceled streams that I've had planned for a while because my internet sucks and my internet is looking good right now. So this might be something on your YouTube's end. Like, here's, here's some streaming fest. My stream. Is still good. Oh, why are they running the ball there? That makes no sense.